Welcome to Human Design System Living Your Design Guide Training Program. So what I'm going to do for you is give you some questions. I have six questions for you. I'd love for you to get a piece of paper and a pen and write down these questions and process them this week, especially if this is something that you've decided to move forward with, because I want to give you some food for your contemplation this week as we progress through the transformation that I'd like to give you if you are going to become a living or design guide. So my first question to you, do you remember the beginning of your journey with human design? Do you remember when human design found you? Because that is the beginning of your success story. And it's really important that you ground into what this experience has done for you so that you can correctly convey its benefits to the people that you serve. All of us are going to have different benefits. We all came to design at a different time and space. And all of us have had experiences that if we can learn to share the fruits of our experiences, our lessons learned with others, we're more likely to attract the people that are right for us to be able to influence, to impact, to guide, and to help provide that guidance or that advice as we move forward into this experience. And you're going to be more successful if you do so. So I'm giving you my best success secrets in learning how to not only live this experiment as a human design guide, but also you're not doing this for charity work. At this point, if you're moving forward as a guide, you want to be able to be compensated for your time. And that's one of the strategies that I can give you is to be able to connect with the right people. And you're welcome to bring forth any questions that you have that maybe the presentation ignited for you and in looking towards the future as far as how are you going to be successful as a guide because all of us are very different and we're all here for very specific people and it's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time for them to find you or for them to be attracted to you and you have to be able to learn how to be the leader that you are so that people can find you without, you know, doing the initiating thing, unless you, of course, are a manifester. I want to encourage you to foster an awareness of how you're here to be a different kind of human design professional, because all of us have our own frequency, our own design that we're here to teach from our wisdom potential. I am a certified profit potential coach. So that's one of the things that I'm going to be working with you all as we move forward so that you can be successful, whether you use it for yourself, your family and friends, your personal development and your professional development. Okay. So that's one of the things that I'm going to do with you. I am a certified BG5 career and business consultant as well as a teacher. So you might hear me teach some things that you're not aware of, but I cannot help but explain things that are going to help you understand where your place is, where do you belong, what's your role. Okay, so that's part of the coaching process as we move forward in this certification program. Now the business of human design for you as somebody who is learning to make money off of design, it really is a matter of balancing opening the door to the true self and selling to the not self. That's the business of human design from the open centers in our design. That is where we are suckers for being sold there and where we can sell others. Just to give you some confidence in moving forward that Remember, the moment you stop being in control of your life, you as in your conscious thinking mind, the conditioned mind, your life is perfectly financed because what's going to happen is you're going to have a settling into the flow of where your life needs to go, where we're at right here, right now in moving forward as a living or design guide. What you're here to do is to open the door to their true self. Everyone has their own individual truth. And what happens is in human design, the business of human design as the esoteric realm where you're stepping into, should you continue to move forward? This is about waking people up. Now, it's not that you can't make a good living at it. Yes, you can make a living at this. However, are you doing it in alignment? 
if you're doing it in alignment, it's going to feel peaceful. It's going to feel satisfying. It's going to feel successful. It's going to feel surprising depending on your frequency. If you're not doing it in alignment, no matter how much you're trying to do, if you're trying to control how much you make and where you go and who you're going to serve and all of that, then what happens is nothing will be satisfying. Nothing will come easy. It will always be a struggle. So there's two different paths in human design. I've walked them both. And in this program, I'm going to balance helping you with your bottom line as well as helping you know how to open the door to not only your own true self, but apply that to the people that you're looking to serve or you're here to serve, I should say, because really it's not about you looking, it's about them finding you. Because the moment that you are resonating with the vibrational frequency of what they need to know, that's when they're going to show up in your life. It's so that we can find or align, I should say, align with the fulfillment of purpose. Ra says, human design isn't for everyone. It'll never be for everyone. It's only for those who are ready. The readiness is a serendipity. It's a door opening slightly. It's that moment of possibility of being able truly to go a different way. It's time to go a different way. It's time to go the way of ourselves, what we are as beings, as nine centered beings. And that's my hope for you, that I can lead you to your own way. You might take this entire course and go, I'm not going to ever teach this, but you use it in your own practice as a consultant, as a therapist, as a coach. You might not ever want to teach the Living Your Design program, but what I am going to do in not only helping you learn how to deliver that program is helping you learn how to apply this in your life for yourself for your business as you move forward 